Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to convert AC to DC and how you can make use of it. So let's go. To make the converter you need the schematics right here. Here you have a transformer. So if you don't know what the transformer looks like or how it operates, here you have a transformer or you can find it in this shape. Here it's out of an old radio it converts 220 volts to around 10.3 volts so high AC voltage low AC voltage high AC voltage low AC voltage this is what transformer do so here we have what it's called a rectification block what we are going to do here is actually converting the alternative sine wave from the AC from the AC voltage to a constant of DC voltage so here you have the AC here you have a constant DC so how it works so you know the alternative current voltage change through time so let's say here we have plus here we have minus so how it will go it's from here going from here here oops it's a block in this way so it can move from here it cannot go from here because it's bro broken so oops here we have plus and the minus it will comes from here it can go back from here because it's minus and here we have minus so let's change it and say now here we have plus here we have minus so how this will work so here going from here oops we cannot go this way so we're going this way you cannot go this way so it's here plus and about the minus it's coming this way here here and it can go back from here and here you have a minus so here we have a constant of plus 12 volts and here minus 12 volt actually it's not always the same voltage because running through the diodes will come some some powers it's about 0 0.7 volts so here we will have around like twelve point three voltage so here we have a 5 volts regulator so what what is this thing you may ask yourself so like the transformer we are converting a high AC to low AC here we are converting high DC to low DC so here let's let's suppose that the diodes are perfect so here we have 12 volts here it will not come 12 volts it will come 5 volts and if you are asking where is the missing voltage well actually it's going as a heat so if you are using a 5 volt regulator or 9 you might think of using a heat sinker so here we have some capacitors you don't need those here but you definitely, definitely need this one right here. About this one, actually, it's not very important. It makes the voltage smoother, but it's not really that important as much as this. Here, well, you see here we have 100, uh, 100 microfarad. 
it's better to have more something like this 2200 microfarad so enough of this let's make the shima so here I have a sample breadboard and I'm going to use it so what you're going to need is capacitors here I have a 10 microfarad if you are asking why we don't have 10 microfarads here it's actually you can some add here Ten microfarads from here, and from the same here, you can add ten, ten microfarads. Sorry about that. And you can add also one. Actually, it's like this: zero point one microfarad. It's a nano. So it looks like this most of the time it's not really important to put those so I didn't put them in the schema but if you want uh, if you want to put it it will not hurt actually it will help uh, help the regulator so in this schematics right here the one I'm doing I'll just put them just to show you so here we have four diodes and you see here you have this silver line right here this is to show you how the voltage the current will flow so it can go from here but it cannot go from here so if so we're going to put the, the shamer right here here it's actually going to be like this the second one here as you can see here see will go like this the third one here see server you can see it it's going to be like this and the last one here it's going to be like this so here I'm just going to make it in the breadboard so I'm putting one like this from here put it here the second one connected from the same okay one important thing if you don't know how the breadboard works so here you see those two right here it's it connected the whole line like this so if you connect something from here and from here it will be connected from here and the same thing goes for the red but inside the board it's actually converted so it's not like this but it's actually like this so if I put something here in 12 right here and here it will be connected but here you need to connect this and this see the difference one is here one is here so this is another one go coming from the same point but I'm going to put it here so now we just made this half here now it's time for this so here another one coming from the lead of this diode here so and it will goes here 
now we made those three so this diode here you can see it okay this is this is better this diode's here it's here here it's here and this one here now it's time for the third one coming from here to here so now our rectification block is done now it's time to put the 5 volts regulator actually this is a 9 volt regulator so if you want to know how to read it so here you can see oops you cannot see there is okay now you can see there is L7809 you see there is a 9 and there you can have CV9 it's actually 9 volts so searching for my 5 volts here this one is a 5 volts how do I know it? how do I know that you have here LM7805 C so 5 mean 5 volts so here I have it now the capacitors that I added here remember 10 10 and 1 nano so okay when you are using the capacitors you make you, you need to make sure of the polarity so here you have a minus so this goes to ground this goes to plus so uh, if you invert it and sometimes the voltage is high well you'll end up blowing the whole thing so here is plus and here is minus so this part is done and another one right here from plus to ground and we are going to use one nano okay where this nano goes there it is it's so small this nano nano doesn't need the polarity so you can put it either way it will not blow on your hand so it's fine yeah one here and one here okay so now we ended this part of the circuits but if you notice those parts are not connected but here they are connected so we need to make sure to connect them using sample jumper wires so here is actually this line here remember they are connected together so we're going to put one here and the other one is going to in so what in means it's input voltage here is output so pin here is done and now we are do we are need to do the same thing we need another jumper wire this one coming from here to the middle pin well there is some space here so guys we're almost there now we need this capacitor right here actually I'm going to use this big one right here 
So to do that, I'm just put a. Actually, I'm going to do some modification. It's the same, but because I have no space, I'll do this here. So remember, they're all connected together here. So I'm taking one from here, the plus, see here, this one here, and I need to go back from here. So I'm just going to move back from here. So like this and like this. So now all this line is connected to ground. So now I have no problem connecting those. Remember, ground plus. So here is plus and here is ground. Actually, now we're done. Let's test it out. We took transformer. And we're going to put those here. and those here. Now I'm going to connect the transformer to the 220 volts from the wall. So let's hope nothing blows. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, just kidding. That's just my, this. So <laughs> nothing blows up really, so. To test the circuits, we will need a multimeter. I already put it here in 200 AC voltage because we are going to see the voltage that the transformer give to us. So we're going to put one here, to one here. As you can see, it's 10.3 voltage. This is AC. Now we're going to see how much DC it gave us well I mentioned it earlier that it will drop but let's see one here the plus one here the minus oh it's it gets much bigger well if you're asking why it's because of those the capacitors so, well, I didn't mention how a capacitor works. It's actually like a battery. It charge then discharge. So here we charged the capacitors. And when we are reading from here, from this one here, we're actually reading the capacitors too. So it got speaker. Well, doesn't matter. Now we are going to measure the real output voltage after using the valve regulator. So here in the pin of the of the big capacitor, can you read it? Ah, uh, it's five point four volts. Well, if you're asking why it's minus, look because here. I'm just reversing those so here. Remember, this has become minus. We're going to put here, here. Well, it's a 5.4 volts. Now, if you're doing those steps, you will, com you will be converting 220 AC voltage to 5 DC voltage. Well, it wasn't really that hard was it so thanks for watching and see you next time